everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is the second in a series about my journey on YouTube. So it's been about a month since I started my YouTube channel. I think my first video I posted on December 15th, uh, 2023. I would say the first month has really been challenging, rewarding, I've learned a lot, and I see where I really have a lot of room for improvement. So in my last video in this series, I talked about how I had no subscribers at the time. I was only getting a few likes per video. Honestly, at the time, my thumbnails weren't great. I wasn't using YouTube suggested thumbnails. However, the ones I was putting together were just, they were okay. And so in the last month, I think I've really seen a good amount of growth, at least relatively. Um, like I said, I started out with zero subscribers. I now have 12 subscribers at the time of this recording. My channel has gotten over 500 views in the last 28 days. And my watch time is approaching 40 hours. Now, I know that's not a lot, but it's only been one month and I can already see for me, what feels like decent progress. And I know if I kind of keep pushing that those numbers are just going to continue to grow, the quality of my videos are going to continue to improve. And so I'm just gonna run through some of the numbers that I have for my channel right now. So like I said, in the last 28 days, at the time of this recording, I've gotten 563 views, 18.3 thousand impressions. The click-through rate from those impressions is about 2 0.3% on average for all my videos. And then my average view duration's a little under four minutes, so not great, but not horrible. And you can see some of my more recent uh, video posts have been the ones that have been doing better than some of my earlier ones, which, you know, as I said, makes sense. I've been improving, I've been getting better at making the video itself, the content of the videos, the titles, the thumbnails. I'm trying to make titles that are a little bit clickbaity because you do want to draw people's attention. But at the same time, I don't want to have something in my title that is deceptive. So all of my titles for my videos, I'm trying to be honest, but I'm also trying to draw attention uh, to the video. And with the thumbnails, I try to make them visually interesting, but also give you some context of what the video is actually about. Most of my videos for this channel are cooking videos, so I always try to feature the thing that I'm preparing in the video as well as just including myself so people get a sense of who I am. And so the video for this month that has done really well for me, at least relative to my channel, has been my homemade Greek yogurt video. It's been steadily getting views um, over the last couple of weeks. It kind of started off slowly and then went through a couple of days of like, I don't know, explosive growth. I wouldn't say that it went viral or anything, but I was getting a ton of views relative to my channel during that time period. And then things kind of tapered off, but I've been steadily getting more and more views on that video. And I've been getting subscribers from that video as well, so that's been nice. And I've also been getting more likes on my videos, which has helped out a lot, I think. And so I would say over the course of this first month on YouTube, I've really learned several key lessons. The first being that patience is key. I know most likely that my channel is not going to blow up overnight. However, I know that if I keep working and keep uploading and keep getting better week to week, that the channel is going to slowly grow over time. And you never know, like, I may have a video or two that just takes off and that's kind of the turning point for the channel. When I first started posting videos those first couple of weeks, I was in YouTube studio. It seemed like every hour checking the view counts, checking the watch time on the videos, seeing how they were doing, looking at my analytics. And I realized that's not helping me. Me constantly looking at the analytics for my channel is not going to help me get more views. That isn't to say that they're not important and that you shouldn't look at them to know where you can improve, where you can get better, what's performing, what's not obviously do that. However, I really learned that being consistent is the most important part. Get my videos published, let them go a little bit, and then see how they're doing and see where I can make improvements. And I found so far that it really takes at least a week or two for you to know how a video is truly doing. And so that's kind of the mindset that I'm taking going forward. The second lesson that I've really learned in the past month, and I've kind of touched on this already, is that titles and thumbnails are really important, especially for engagement on my videos. I've noticed that the videos that kind of have more clickbaity titles have gotten more engagement. The ones that have what I feel like are better thumbnails have gotten more engagement. One of my more recent videos that I posted had a thumbnail that I felt like it was good, but it wasn't the best thing I could put out. I was kind of going through a block at the time and couldn't really think of a good design for the thumbnail. And so I was just like, I want to get this video out. I'll put this thumbnail on there. It looks decent. It looks fine. It should be okay. And then I published the video and it was really getting a ton of views like pretty quickly. Well, it was getting views faster than my other videos had gotten views um, within the first day of posting. And it really looked like the algorithm was pushing it. 
But then after that first day, after I published that video, the views really started to die down. And when I took a look at the analytics, I could see that during that first 24 hours, YouTube had really pushed my video and there, it got a lot of impressions. However, the click-through rate was pretty poor on it. I think it was like less than 1%. And I'm not really sure what a good click-through rate is for most creators on YouTube, but mine has been hovering around like three to 4% on average for my more recent videos. And that one had done substantially worse. Had, was it less than half of what I usually have for my click-through rate? And so I don't know if that is fully the reason, but my guess would be that my thumbnail wasn't quite eye-popping enough. It didn't catch enough attention or interest when YouTube was pushing that video. And so now it's not performing as well. And that could be temporary. I'm not really sure. But what I'm going to try to do is create a new thumbnail for that video and see if that helps. It might be too late at this point, but for me, it doesn't hurt to try. And I will let you guys know in the next one how that has worked out for me. And the third lesson I've learned is really related to filming and editing. In my first few videos, I would try to get the entire thing filmed in as few shots as possible. And honestly, during those videos, I think I was talking a little bit too quickly. And even when I would mess up, I would not give enough of a pause um, in between kind of shots or in between takes for me to edit that out. And so it really made the editing process more difficult than it needed to be. And so over the past month, especially in the last few videos, I've learned to just slow down, just think about what you're going to say. If I mess up in a video, it's fine uh, while I'm shooting. I just need to give myself enough of a pause so that I can edit that out later. It's something that I've really been working on over the last couple of videos, and I think I've really improved, and it has really made the editing process so much easier, and it looks a lot more natural if I have to do like a jump cut between one take and the other. And so with those lessons, I'm really going to try to take what I've learned and implement changes or fixes in my routine or in the way I do things, um, from shooting to editing, from titles to thumbnails, so that I continue to improve in the quality of the content I'm producing, but also the strategy that I have for my channel. And I do know that if I keep it up and keep improving and keep working and just keep that consistency, that my videos are only gonna get better, my channel is going to continue to grow, and we'll see where things end up. As I said, this was the second video in my series about my journey on YouTube. So far, I've been posting videos about once a week. There was a period where I was doing kind of like two a week, but that was just to kind of beef up what was on my channel already. Um, but now I've kind of settled into a pattern and I'm shooting about one video a week, trying to do it about every seven or eight days. But it really just depends on my work schedule, my girlfriend's work schedule. I try to film when no one's home, when it's kind of quiet around the apartment complex, just to have the least amount of like noise or sound or distractions as possible while shooting my videos. Now that a month has gone by, I think I can really reflect on those original goals that I had for the channel. They're pretty much the same. I think now I just have more of a direction of what my channel could be and how it can grow. I'm still just trying to have fun with the channel. I've been able to kind of come up with new ideas every week and it hasn't been too hard so far. Um, again, like I described in my original video when I first started my journey, I picked a niche that I knew I would be able to be consistent with it. I wouldn't have too much trouble coming with coming up with new ideas, being that it's cooking. Um, I do try to put my own spin on things and I hope that you know, people see that and appreciate that. But now I think I can have goals that are a little bit more specific. I'm still going to post about once a week, like I said, but now I have a goal for subscribers. So I would say my goal for probably the next uh, few months is to get my subscriber count up to 500 subscribers. And We'll see if that happens. I think it's possible if I keep being consistent and I keep improving. Um, and if I play nicely with the YouTube algorithm. And I think if I do that, then my watch time and my views will go up as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I'm going to be posting some additional videos um, in this series about my journey. And so this was the one month mark. I already posted the one um, from when I first started. And then I'm going to post some additional videos at the three month mark, the six month mark, and then the one year mark. And then after that, we'll see where it goes. But those are my plans for now. And I will catch you in the next one.